There are things that women can do to uh, maintain their overall wellness that go through the whole um, age range of patients that we see. And that obviously includes healthy dietary and healthy exercise habits. And that's a topic that we frequently discuss with patients. And luckily, Amita's got ancillary services that are for patients who are interested in a uh, healthier diet. Um, so diet and exercise is true of any age. And then there's other health um, uh, suggestions that we, we suggest depending on somebody's stage of life, depending on uh, whether they're preparing to conceive a pregnancy, for example. And then there's special health um, recommendations and considerations uh, for postmenopausal patients or elderly patients um, because once the ovaries stop making hormones, um, patients often have heard the term osteoporosis or the thinning of the bones. So those patients need to uh, uh, be educated on um, incorporating weight-bearing exercise in, in, as much as possible into their daily routine. And for those patients who aren't ambulatory, things like aqua aerobics, making sure that they get multivitamins. Uh, so for postmenopausal patients, multivitamins with specifically uh, vitamin D and calcium to prevent the thinning of their bones. Patients who are younger trying to conceive, uh, being on any sort of a prenatal vitamin is a good idea, because as I tell patients, we get most of the things that we need in our diet, but um, most commonly iron, folic acid, and vitamin B12 uh, are things that uh, are good to supplement that the baby can use.